Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. In today's video, we are going to analyze gold, silver, euro, Canadian dollar, and British pound. I'm sorry I got a couple other requests too, but I'm afraid because of the shortage of the time, I was unable to actually process those requests. Before we head on to the analysis section, I want to uh, actually show my work to my new subscriber or new visitors. So here's a quick review of our last week. So in my analysis on gold, here you can see what, what was the analysis. And here it clearly says that we are going downward. This is the before picture and this is what happened in gold market. I don't need to explain to you about 34 plus uh, 13 which is around 44 and uh, 40, 47 dollars movement in the price of gold and it was pretty good. Not only that I was also able to forecast this legal correction as well and then I was able to forecast that we are going to reversal as well so you can see my other two videos as well. This is what we forecasted in uh, in silver this is the before picture clearly indicating that we are going to go down and this is what followed after in silver. Also, I, when prices were hitting right over here, I was able to forecast the correction as well. And you can see that in one of my videos as well. And then I indicated that probably we have seen the top and then we will see go downward. And that's exactly we have soon as well. The next one is Euro. This is the before picture of Euro and we all know what happened. A very nice price movement in Euro. And we were able to forecast the correction and the move down as well in the in couple of videos posted after the last weekend. This is the very, very good forecast that we did. Again, uh, British pound is indicating that's what happened before. And this is what followed right after the price movement. When prices were falling right over here, I forecasted that we are going to see an upward price movement really clearly indicating. And then we can we know what happened. Prices actually rallied up as well. So we probably forecast this. this pro we actually forecasted this price movement and this drop as well. This push up as well. So this is a uh, uh, Canadian dollar once again very very good trading setup. Uh, I was able to forecast the analysis the price movement as well. This is the before picture and here is what happened from this bottom onward. We were able to also tell that the price uh, correction is expected and this is what followed and then I somewhere over here I expected that we probably have reached a bottom or will reach so very quickly and this is what we follow what followed after that. So if you are new to the channel if you're first time viewing it please do uh, one favor and that you can push the like button or you can post, post a comment or you can do a share or if you want to do all three that will be really good. Let's have a look at the analysis section and what we'll see what are we what are we expecting and where the prices are going to uh, be in the next week. First of all, uh, I want to um, there's a huge fundamental um, uh, fundamental news debate going on that since because inflation is very high, gold should be going up. And then we saw very high, uh, expectedly high, unexpectedly high figures seeing, or expectedly high figures seeing in inflation fundamental data reported today. But still, we saw the prices of gold moving down, giving an indication, although it was quite reluctant, giving an indication that something else is happening. And that's what we have, we have been trying to tell on a daily frame. frame we can see that we have completed a uh, leading diagonal, wave 1, a uh, wave 2 and I'm expecting prices to go drop down way. We are right now completed wave 1 of 3, wave 2 of 3 is also complete. So right now we are in the initial stage of wave 3 of 3. If you are an electrician, you would already know that wave 3 of 3 is a dream come true for uh, electricians. They are normally wait for wave 3 of 3. The problem is when that happens, not many people can actually realize that we are in the beginning of wave 3 of 3. Next week is going to be very crucial. So probably we're going to see a similar sort of drop next week as well. I'm expecting a sharper drop from not a sharper but a stronger drop movement. Uh, another fifty, sixty dollar drop expected next week. If it would be larger than that, we would welcome it. As long as, uh, as far as the larger time anal analysis is concerned, I'm strongly bearish on gold, and. Uh, I'm expecting that in long term price analysis we will probably see a bottom forming in this region or in this region. So we will be able to d uh, discuss that when the time arrives. For now I'm bearish on uh, gold believing that we have completed a leading diagonal, a correction wave 2, uh, wave 1 and then A, B and C a leading sorry uh, expanded flat and then we are basically in the beginning of wave 3 of 3. Let's come to hourly time frame and see what happens. I 
did not put this as a end of correction just in case it prices decide to go up it's highly likely that prices will continue downward but the reason I did not create it, this one is because we do not want to mistrend just because the prices decide to go up but most as I said my point of view right now here is that we are going to go further down and that's why a very important price level is right over here 1834 and not this four so I believe we have completed some sort of wave right over here we are considering it as wave sub wave one and I believe that probably we have completed the correction right over here. We'll wait for the price to go further down before we can actually confirm that we have completed a correction right over here. As I said, it's highly likely that the prices will continue their fall on an hourly time frame. Silver, once again, it was a very good analysis and a very good forecast as well. On a daily time frame, we can see that we have seen last few days silver coming down. And this is exactly I forecasted a week ago. Once again, uh, not many people going to like it, but silver is bearish. And our long-term analysis is telling us that we probably have completed an extreme right over here, a yearly cycle extreme. And this is probably wave 1 and we have wave A, wave B of 2, and then we are expecting as wave C. Uh, that will be a, a flat correction, wave A, wave B, and wave C. I'm expecting a deeper price movement, somewhere around 1650-ish. And uh, I... I my analysis is telling me that on a four hourly time frame we are going to head down. We can keep an important price level as right over here, which is 2484-ish. This is the top, and we are, should not be taking positions based on this top. Uh, once again, I'm bearish on silver. Euro once again, it was a very good trading setup. I clearly indicated that we not only broke the support line, we also retested it as well. So I clearly gave an indication one week ago that we are going to be bearish, and uh, this is exactly what we are seeing right now. I'm expecting a larger price movement downward. I'm considering this as wave A, this as wave B, and I'm expecting this whole as wave C. Within wave C, we have completed wave 1 and 2, and right now we are actually going through wave 3. So within wave 3, we, as you guys can cl clearly see, we have completed a wave right over here. And then we have 3 wave structure, another 3 wave structure, and a 5 wave structure, which basically is a, a expanding flat right here, starting from this bottom to 2 degree expanding flat occurring right over here. So this is a very good trading setup. I clearly indicated that we are going down. It's a very, very good trading setup. Once again, if you want to be trading that setup, please do not use this top. Instead, use this top. Because we need to be confirmed that the prices are, are going to further down. Then at the point we will be able to confirm that this is the top. Just in case if prices further down and they decide to that they decide that they are actually going to be expanded flat so that you don't get caught. That once again this is your personal choice, but I will consider this as an important point uh, for Euro. Somewhere around one point nineteen. I am bearish on Euro on a daily time frame, on an hourly time frame, on a weekly time frame. Canadian dollar, very, very good price movement, very accurate analysis. I was able to forecast that we have completed a double bottom and we have completed a flat correction wave A, wave B, and wave C, and we will be heading upward. On an hourly time frame, when prices were actually traveling right over here, I decide, I forecasted that we are going to see a correction and the correction right over, over here. When prices were around this region, I stated the prices, I made a forecast again saying that Canadian dollar is very close to forming a bottom and then would reverse and that's exactly we have seen a reversal right over here I'm expecting that this push upward is going to continue the weakness in the Canadian dollar even though the fundamental data that came out of uh, Canada was quite positive for actually Canadian dollar and because of that we just saw a little drop uh, a little strength and then this is what followed so this is clearly giving an indication that US dollar index is itself is getting stronger and all of these US dollar basket currencies are getting weaker. That was exactly the case in uh, British pound. We were able to forecast this very good trading setup. I was able to take part profit. I was able to trade this one as well. Uh, here I stated a forecast that we are going to go down. We are very close to forming a top. And, uh, I thought it would be a truncated rather we have seen a double top forming. It's a very weird looking correction on a four hourly chart. We don't see as weird corrections, uh, but especially in the Forex pairs market, uh, Elliott wave forms very, very weird looking platforms. Here is an example for, we have seen a price movement downward is, uh, you can call it a W or a A or an impulsive wave one. 
the point here is that we are heading downward that's my point and that we have completed a, a structure right over here a five wave structure and we are finishing right over here and then we are expecting a correction so let's come to that point in the flat correction when prices were heading over here I indicated that you are very close and we are seeing some uh, other signals in the other forex market giving an indication that a sharper price movement uh, bearish movement is expected in British pound and then went upward once the prices were down I was able to forecast that basically we are expecting a leading diagonal and ending diagonal which is expanding so in the ending diagonal which is expanding that's exactly we have seen instead of truncation however we have seen a double top so I'm bearish on British pound itself this was once again very very good follow-up uh, for the prices and we are indicating I'm expecting that this will actually continue so uh, wish you good luck with your trading if you are new to the channel please uh, push the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, if and for the people who have been watching me for a while I have a certain bad news for you or you guys can say good news I am going to I'm gonna wait for the uh, the drop of price in gold to right over here which is around 1450 at that point I'm deciding that I'm going to turn the free content which I'm giving away to paid content so more details will further will follow uh, I'm expecting probably a hundred dollar would be a reasonable price for initially for uh, gold and silver and then probably a separate hundred dollar for forex pairs uh, but uh, I was seeing I was thinking much higher price but I thought a hundred dollar is a reasonable price for a month month a while and uh, a month of analysis of gold and silver and a hundred dollar uh, for um, US dollar bar US dollar basket currencies as well so if you want to say something about it or if you want to comment something about this uh, please uh, do so I would really like that uh, I've purchased a new uh, I'm going to look I'm going to work on a website I'll see if I can find work on it uh, if I can find some time and work on it and the most probably the name of the website is going to be square of 12 this is the term that I have borrowed from GAN studies GAN used it and I like the name as well square of 12 square of 12 dot com is probably going to be the name of the website so more details will uh, as I said will follow wish you good luck with your trading be really careful use money management rules be clear do not be using so many alternating counts so that you can't actually tell what actually you're doing so or where you're gonna put your price on if I give you four or five different alternating and this is once again this is my own way of thinking I'm not bad naming anyone everybody is doing a great job especially when someone is doing free putting a free content on YouTube then they are actually doing a lot of hard work and putting it free but my way of analysis is that I want to put an analysis and be called either correct or incorrect so simple is that that's my understanding have a good luck have a good one and wish you good luck bye bye